Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. We are here at the 2023 Ultimate Callout Challenge. Today I'm joined by Jared Jones of Shy Diesel, and behind us is his diesel dragster with a compound turbo billet Cummins, and it's our Diesel of the Week. Engine Builder's Diesel of the Week is sponsored by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Jared, thanks so much for giving us a little time here on thanks Saturday of the Ultimate College Challenge. I know you've gone down the track several times already this weekend, and uh, it's always fun seeing this dragster uh, make a pass. Yeah. And we'd love to know a little bit more about the Bill Cummins engine here that you got. So if you could, tell us a little bit about uh, what's all inside it. All right, well, start out with a blank billet you know, and it's like 750 pounds when it starts out. And it comes out to like 243 pounds, I think, something like that, once it's all said and done. Um, we do make them in-house on a uh, Centroid 560XL. Okay. And uh, we have a few other three axis machines as well. So uh, we made our billet heads as well. Um, it's still based off of a two valve engine. And uh, it's got a four and an eighth bore in it. It's running a six, seven crank. Okay. So it is uh, like 393 cubic inch. Okay. We make our own fuel lines in house as well. We got a CNC line bender. Um, we did a uh, billet intake is on our 560XL as well. Yeah. We make the injector bodies for this engine as as well in a house as well. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, plenty of stuff that you guys do yourself. Yeah, we awesome. basically do yeah. from top to bottom in our, in our in house, trying to keep it all yeah. quality control in the house there. So. Uh, we put the engine on a dyno, it made around 2,800 horsepower awesome. on fuel only. Yeah. So uh, wow. we do put nitrous on this car. It kind of started just this year, really, but uh, we've been running a HammerTech uh, nitrous cannon on okay. the car. Yeah. So, and, uh, Jared, you're talking about everything that you guys do at Shide in terms of stuff that you put on this engine and do yes. in-house. How about some of the other components that, uh, that we use from get, other customers? Yeah, just yeah. aftermarket stuff that might be on it. Yep. So uh, we got a, basically a box stock precision 88 millimeter turbo on it. And then the atmosphere charger we do kind of, it's like based off of a Holset HX82. But it's like 134 millimeter oh, wow. wheel in there from, I think it's from Weimer. Okay. And then the Steed Speed manifold. Yep. That's a T6 race manifold we get from them. Okay. We, we run Steed Speed on even our, both of our pulling trucks as well. So it's a great, great part. And then uh, we run a dry sump system on it from a different company. Yeah. And we run an AMS 2000 boost controller. We run race pack on the car for data logging and stuff like that. And then uh, nitrous, ex nitrous Express for our nitrous controller. So yeah, excellent. That's about it. Excellent. Makes around 190 pounds of boost in the quarter, about 160, 170 pounds of boost in the eight. Wow, wow, that's awesome. Now, like I said, we saw you make a couple passes. You, know, you made one last evening, you made one today. You know, what are the expectations out there on the track? What, what's kind of the goal and, and how's it been running for you this weekend? It's been running okay this weekend. Usually in the heat of the day, you know, it's, it's hard for about any rigid car like this to get down the track because yeah. it's just, all you have is for suspension is tire pressure and a wheelie bar adjustment. So, um, first hit out yesterday, it was 87 degrees outside, track temp was 120 something or whatever. Yeah. We, we took a lot of power out of it using the boost controller and staged nitrous out a little bit farther in the pass instead of kind of coming out of the hole with it. And uh, it fell on its face a little bit, but still ran a 434, 188 mile an hour. So, uh, yeah. It was. Big steam on the big end, but you know, a little sluggy out of the hole, and that's fine. We got down the track, got qualified. I think everybody in the class got qualified on that first hit. So then last night we should have should have put more to it. You know, we was just kind of trying to stay conservative with the car, make it because we know we got rounds to go through for today. But uh, we ran like a 406, 189 mile an hour yesterday or last night or whatever, about 11:53 yeah. in the evening. I mean, it was yeah. a late hit, but it done good. And that's, yeah. that was about to, gonna be the prime time for any diesel engine out here that's making cold air, you know, yep. making big boost, big power. Yep. So then today, 
we're kind of going back into it like we did yesterday. You need to kind of kill power, but we can't kill too much. I don't want it to fall on his face because everybody else has ran pretty good in this class. So you gotta you gotta find that fine line, you know. So, Absolutely. And it's the only mechanical motor out here, basically running. So yeah. Everybody else is running common rail. Yeah. We're still a mechanical motor. Okay. Ah, very cool. Good. Jared, how about moving forward? You know, later into this season or even next year. You know, anything that you guys are looking to change and. You know, what, what's ultimately the goal for you guys? Well, the goal I would say mostly is probably we got to get the car lighter. So yeah. I'm on a diet myself. <laughs> and then uh, some of these pipes need to be probably aluminum or whatnot. You know, this is like a low pressure pipe. It can be aluminum probably, you know. Yeah. There's a lot of things that can lighten up that we've had on the car for a long time. But for a, for a dragster at 2,615 pounds, with me in the car, yeah, that's still a pretty heavy car. Like a top fuel car, they run 2,500 pounds, you yeah. know. And when then we run the NHRA Division Three and PDRA top dragster as well. Okay, a lot of those guys are around 2,200 pounds, 20, 23 at the most. Yeah. So I mean, it's just it's a heavy car for what it is for a small cubic inch. Sure. You know, like when you're running a blower or a Hemi car, it's right beside you. It's a real deal, you know. It's yeah. like, God, I can't hear this thing no more, and that thing just hmm, it rips. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, Jared, it's an awesome, awesome dragster and awesome bill at Cummins. So I appreciate you giving us some time to talk a little bit about it. And yes, sir. We wish you good luck the rest of this weekend. All right, thank you. Yeah. Thanks for coming out. Guys, make sure you're checking out everything that Jared's got going on over here at Shy Diesel. Uh, they do some awesome diesel stuff. And as always, make sure you're checking out enginebuildermag.com for more engine and diesel content. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you guys next time.